Some of the challenges of taking a series and moving it into a miniseries, which is its own animal, uh, we had to pick up certain story elements that were inviolately left the way they were. We could not, in truthfulness to all of our fans, change things. So we were stuck in a starting place that was uh, constricting. At the end of series four, uh, we did not know at the time that it was the end of the series. So we had kind of an exit strategy plan. The exit strategy would have taken place over 22 episodes. And now we're reduced to four hours instead of 22. So things had to be very inventively crafted. Uh, it was in the beginning, I will say that Rockney S. O'Bannon, Rockney is my idol as a writer. Uh, he is just great. And he's my best friend. And we sat there, we're pretty proficient at what we do, and we stared at each other for a week, and we kept saying, well, what about no, what about no? It took a great deal of uh, trial and error to figure out the appropriate solution. And, and when we got it, we know it was right because we're vetted by all of the people on the show, Ben and Andrew Prouse and uh, you know Brian, who know this show, Claudia, better than anyone. And when they read it, they went, that's it. So we knew we had pick the right avenue to travel down. Science fiction is traditionally a male domain. And Rockney and I talked about how would we bring a female audience in. And the way uh, we decided to do that was with strong female characters. They, <laughs> our female characters outnumber the men, always have. And uh, if you watch the show previously or are watching the miniseries now, you'll realize that not one single woman takes an order from a single man. It's usually the other way around. Uh, I have found this to be basically a reflection of my life. And uh, we crafted these characters deliberately that way. We sought out actresses who had spine and backbone. And we fused that all together. And what we have, we believe, is something unique in science fiction. The moments that I'm proud of are not blowing up a set. The moments that I'm really proud of are when the actors embrace the words and the concept, take themselves to a place and make a culmination of their character and give the audience something that you can feel. The process of having the series end abruptly, and then being here today at the culmination of an enormous miniseries owes in large part to the fans. They went berserk. They went apoplectic, uh, appropriately so. They had an enormous influence on the complete and total way that this miniseries came together. They kept the flame burning. We all had a bunch of faith among ourselves. And I think we were out in uh, August of 02, and here it is the end of February 04. And during that time, it took about a year till Brian gave me a phone call and said, uh, start thinking of four hours. This was last March. He called me March 03. And uh, the fans had kept this steady drumbeat up, and we, I don't think it would have happened without the fans, actually. I, I would say having my inside knowledge, it, not, it would not have happened without the fans. So the fans are pretty critical, and this will be their, their gift. Uh, they earned it.